To the vlog so just got home from the gym showed a bit of boxing and a bit of kind of hand trapping slash elbows kind of kept it upper body today for the vlog but did also do but not record some muay thai rounds and some grappling drilling but just got back from the shop so check this out so this is the food i picked up bit of a weird one but i thought i would probably crave these soon i'm not gonna have any today but this would kind of be like a weekend treat. So I don't know if they have this in America, but for all English people, you'll probably know potato waffles, OP back in the day. Got some Greek yogurt with honey built in. Got some hummus, two of the same flavor of the Halo Top, low calorie ice cream, that's sea salt caramel. Got some mixed grapes. I personally much prefer the red ones to the green ones, but they didn't have any packs of only red available. Got a couple packs of strawberries, a couple packs of blueberries, my mainstays, some blackberries. Got some apples, I didn't even check what type they are. Gala, got some oranges, easy peelers, some mixed leaf salad, nice and easy to chuck in anywhere. Got some bananas, got some soft flour tortillas, also some cucumber, some avocado. And then we got a mixture of these different little snacks. We got some peanut and chocolate bars. We got some coconut and apricot yogurt. And then we've also got some rice cakes, some milk chocolate, and that fly is invading. And then finally, not food, but I live by these kitchen towels. Makes life so much easier. So we got a bit of a mammoth lunch. We've got a tuna mayo cheese and salad bagel, sesame seed bagel. And the leftovers are just in there. And then on the side, we've got the cucumber, the apple, the red pepper. Hummus is going to go with that. And then I've got one of those nut bars, the yogurt coated. I think it was apricot and almond. So I'm looking forward to that for kind of dessert. And then I've got the Greek yogurt and honey and a load of fruit. Normally, I'd put granola on that, but I'm going to have this instead, as that's pretty uh, high in calories. Hmm. The smell is half as good as the taste. Right. Let's try this bad boy out. I'll give that a solid 8 or 9 for texture. Texture was better than I thought it was going to be. Creamy yogurt. Mmm. Quite like that. If you're a fan of fruit and nut and yogurt, this might be for you, pretty good. So guys, I got a question a few videos ago, I believe, in the comment section about like neck strengthening exercises, what I kind of done in the past, what I do currently. I thought it was a good question, um, so I'm gonna try and answer that and show some stuff in the next section of this video. 
Remember, if there is anything you want to ask, feel free to drop it in the comments. If I can, I'll answer it as best I can. And if it's a really good question, I'll try to drop it in a video. So yeah, hope you enjoy. So guys, first exercise is doing kind of a sideways net warm up. So you just isolate your body and just rotate your net. I do about 30 reps for each side. And then again, this is just the front. So this is quite a good one for Jiu Jitsu. Um, obviously not like loading the net with any weight or anything, but it does kind of help you get used to it and you will start to feel like a bit of a burn. Again, I showed this in previous uh, videos where I'm doing like a headstand. Normally I build up from the knees and then I try to get my legs straight. My posture could obviously be better, but bear in mind I'm pretty beginner. So this is a stack, uh, again, a kind of jiu-jitsu one. So I try and get my knees over to my ears um, and then keep my toes in the mat. It is easier if you haven't got a stomach uh, full of food, as many people will tell you. And then we've got like another stack, but kind of in a Gramby roll style. So I keep my knees off the mat for this one and just try walk around my body on my feet. Then we've got a forward forehead bridge. You can use your hands or not use your hands as you get more advanced. And then the reverse, a backwards bridge. So arching up and this time use the top of your head instead of your forehead. Again, you can uh, variate the hands. And then we've got kind of a similar vein to earlier with a headstand, but using the wall, which kind of does make it a bit easier. And then as you get more advanced, you can also try and not use your hands as well. Um, if you want to build this into another workout, you could just do like a shoulder press type of thing, but I've got long spindly arms, so that's kind of hard. So here I'm just showing how the net can be used for good posture on takedowns. So we had the inside single there. There I'm overemphasizing using it for a, um, for a double leg. Here my partner's just kind of showing how you have to keep your neck strong throughout um, all the grappling. So here we're doing some tie clinch, pulling me down. He had kind of snapped me down in a 180 from a collar tie in the previous clip as well. So you just kind of build it up as you go along throughout training. Okay, people, so food time. Already had whilst I was cooking some jalapeno pretzels, a bit of peanut butter, and some grapes. So check out the main. So we got nice and simple, but super satisfying. Just some rice, chicken, and peas, and then got some salt and pepper on that too. And then as a sauce, just gonna bang some ketchup on. Dessert is gonna be just finishing off this Halo Top cinnamon roll. If you haven't had it, it's kind of like a cookie dough, but cinnamon flavor, very good. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get through that and I'll see you at the gym. Every day is like Groundhog Day. I unpack my bag, put my stuff away, repack my bag, and we go again tomorrow for training. So tonight just coached the beginners, did some front headlock stuff, some turtle stuff, and a bit of wrestling, specifically the low single. And afterwards I just did a light strength and conditioning workout. Didn't go crazy with the reps or anything. I never go heavy anymore uh, in terms of weight. I don't really like to burn myself out too much. I try and save myself for the week, prioritize skill work, and it's only Tuesday, so still got a lot of training to go this week. So in terms of current updates, still just trying to heal my knee. Uh, that is slowly getting better. 
and then the gym is actually moving at the end of the month from October so gonna maybe have to adjust my schedule we'll see and just kind of work it all out and go with the flow anyway guys that's the video i hope you enjoyed it please pop it a like and i'll see you in the next one peace